Greetings, friends. Today is February 1st, and I am reading out of Strength for Today. Uh, it's by Dr. David Jeremiah. Uh, I highly recommend picking up this book and all of the books uh, that I'm doing readings from so that you can follow along for yourself. Uh, not only that, if you don't have uh, your own Bible, um, there's all I mean, you have electronic forms of the Bible, uh, Olive Tree, and U version are free downloads that you can get um, multiple different translations of the Bible. Uh, I prefer to read from uh, either the NIV, the New International Version, or the ESV, the English Standard Version. Uh, there are people out there that, that love uh, the King James or the New King James. Uh, there's the New Living Translation. There's the Message. Uh, there's multiple, multiple different translations of the Bible in I want to think. I think there's over a hundred different languages that it's been translated in now. So get a get a Bible uh, and study God's word. Don't just rely on these videos uh, for for your daily bread. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump right in today. Again, like I said, is February first. The the heading is give your best. Uh, we're reading from Colossians chapter three, verse twenty three, and that says. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. A man recruited a group of friends from his church to help him paint his two-story house. There was a small section of trim on the upper level that was hard to get to and which couldn't be seen from the ground. So the fellow on the ladder called down, do we need to paint that little piece of trim? The owner said, yes, but no one can see it. The man on the ladder protested. God can see it, came the answer. The trim was painted. The answer reflected the heart of Colossians 3.23. Paint your own house as if you were painting God's house. If we cut corners in our own life, we are admitting that we might think it's okay to cut corners when serving God. From the days of the Exodus on, Israelites were taught to bring God the very best as sacrifices. An animal without blemish is mentioned 44 times in the Old Testament. In order to drive home the point, God deserves our very best. Whatever you do today, do it as if you are working, cooking, driving, playing, or serving God himself. For truly you are. Friends, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, please recommend uh, this channel and, and these videos to friends and loved ones that you think that can uh, benefit from hearing the Word of God. Um, I also have multiple other different videos that I'm uploading, and I'm going to start reading um, from another book uh, that's a, also from Dr. David Jeremiah, um, which leads into uh, a daily reading of Psalms and Proverbs. Uh, so it goes 30 days in a row. So look for that in the coming days, and uh, as always, my friends, may God bless you, may God keep you, and may God continue to pour out his favor upon you. God bless. Bye-bye.